Our next inductee is the late Mr. Henry Thomas. Although Henry Thomas studied at the University of Southern Mississippi and at Mississippi State University, it was his hometown school, Pearl River, that captured his heart. Thomas enrolled at Pearl River in 1956 and earned an associate's degree. He went on to earn a bachelor's and master's degree from the University of Southern Mississippi and did postgraduate work at Mississippi State University. His early career in education was as a teacher in the Poplarville School District, and he later served as a high school principal in Harrison County. In 1969, Thomas was named district manager for Coast Electric Power Association and was promoted to general manager three years later. South Mississippi Electric Power Association named him general manager in 1985, a position he held until his retirement in 2004. Mr. Thomas was an active member of several civic, social, and educational organizations and was president of the Electric Power Association of Mississippi. He also served as a member of the National Rural Electric Cooperative Association Board of Directors. Thomas was a faithful supporter of Pearl River, both in his personal and professional life. He established the Carolyn Smith Thomas Memorial Scholarship in memory of his late wife who passed away in 1998. During his years with Coast Electric and South Mississippi Electric, the association strongly supported Pearl River. SMEPA annually hosts the Forest Lamar Alumni Chapter Fish Fry, and the association was a maroon sponsor of the PRCC Centennial Kickoff. Thomas, who chaired the Centennial Kickoff Committee, was honored as Alumnus of the Year in 1990. Unfortunately, Mr. Thomas passed away in 2011, but with us tonight are his daughters, Holly Arnold, and his sons, Philip and Jason. Thank you today for Mr. Henry Thomas. I'd like to ask you why he came to Pearl River Community College. Well, he grew up in Derby, which is about seven miles south of Poplarville, in between Poplarville and Picayune. So um, Pearl River Community College was part of his community, as well as his dad had attended Pearl River and was an active alumni. And my dad um, had very dedicated ties to the community and his roots. Um, he was a teacher who instilled in my father the value and importance of getting an education. My father recognized that PRCC could provide him with the academic foundation that could begin his professional career. And he could also build on his educational experiences after he completed his associate degree. The fact that PRC was rooted in his community, which he cared so deeply about, made PRC a clear choice for his um, higher education. How did his experience at Pearl River impact his career? My father's entire career was focused on helping the rural community in which PRC is firmly rooted in. His experience at PRC and his love for the school and area generated his desire to continue his education, excel professionally, and continue to support the college through his involvement and professional ties. After my mother passed away in 1998, my father set up a memorial scholarship in, in her honor so that others who grew up with maybe perhaps um, financial burdens would have the opportunity to gain an educational experience that he was able to obtain as well. He knew the importance of getting a degree and an education. You must be very proud of your father. I'm extremely proud of my father. I have never met anybody that didn't have wonderful things to say about my father. He was a very given man, very, very involved in the community professionally and through the education and the sports circuit of PRC. Did he have any words of wisdom to pass down through you? Well, he instilled in my brothers and I the importance of getting an education. So going to college was never an option. It was just something that we were going to do. So um, I would have to say that my brothers and I all have gone in, on and gotten advanced degrees. I think without saying it, my dad instilled in us the importance of gaining education through his example. Um, it wasn't necessarily things that he said, but it was how he encouraged us and provided for us so that we were able to go to college and then after that pursue where my brothers are concerned, law degrees. I pursued a nursing degree and have gone on to get my master's in counseling. 
I mean, not getting an education was never a question. It was just always something we knew we were going to do and that he provided for it. Um, the conversation I had with my dad when I was in college was that growing up, he did not have the financial security that he was able to provide for us. And so he knew that that was something that he really wanted to be able to provide for his children. And he did that. Um, we are very fortunate that we all went to schools. Um, and don't have loans, you know, have to pay back. I mean, it's, you know, not very many people can say that, and that's how important education was to him. And, you know, I always knew my dad went to PRC. I never really heard much about the fact that he did get um, a BA and an MS degree from Southern and that he also went on to get further education at MSU. You know, that just, while that was important to him, it was not the heart of what was really you know, where his heart was. His heart was PRC, and he made that evident my entire life. And like I said, the scholarship that he set up with my mother, for my mother and her memory, um, that was extremely important and dear to him. And that is something that my brothers and I are continuing to keep going in my dad's honor now, as well as my mother's, because we want to be able to provide others who might not be able to have the financial ease to go to college the opportunity because everyone deserves an education. Do you have a particular story that your father would tell you from his time at PRCC? I think probably the thing I heard the most at my, um, after my father passed away were many practical jokes. He apparently was a huge practical jokester and when I was going through his things, um, when we were going through the house, I found an entire file on practical jokes, and many of them were directed towards um, faculty and staff and administration at PRC. So I think that, um, you know, there are definitely funny stories to be told, but some of them probably can't be told on camera. I would think that he would tell people coming to PRC and looking at PRC that once you decide that that is where your education is going to you know, start, to get involved, to study hard, get to know faculty, get to know staff, ask advice, seek answers, study hard, and once you graduate, stay involved because the ties that PRC can provide you can be so beneficial into your professional and personal career because I saw that in my dad. He had so many close friendships with um, the people at PRC and the community in PRC. Sounds like your father was a people person. He was very much a people person. <laughs> Thank y'all. Um, I get I get to do the speaking because even though probably out of Jason and Holly, I'm I, out of all of us, I'm probably the shyest. For, and I'm I'm terrible in a setting, you know, like this. But I like public speaking, so <laughs> I know that's weird. But it's true. And so Jason and Holly, let me do this. Um, and, and thank you to, to Dr. Lewis from Pearl River. Dr. Lewis spoke at Dad's funeral and really gave him a very um, moving story that I'd never really heard. And it was, uh, I'm not going to try to repeat it, but it was a, a great story about Dad being the principal of Harrison Central High School when it first integrated in 68, 69, something like that. It was a, it was a great story. Um, and I, I try to think about what Dad would say if he were here now, and I, and I laugh because this would probably be the induction gala luncheon if Dad were here because 8 p.m. is the middle of the night for Dad. <laughs> Eight, Eight o'clock is like midnight. I, if you called him up past eight o'clock, it was rare. That was a, a rare occasion. So he would, if he were here, he would probably be deflecting attention and good-naturedly complaining about the start time and wondering why anybody's even out this time of night. Uh, but Dad loved Pearl River. I can't imagine anybody loving it as much as Dad did and, you know, he grew up in the Pearl River, in Pearl River County, you know, out in the out in the country, not even in Popperville. And my mom was from Pearl River County, and we just had a ton of family members who went to the college there. Dad's, my, my grandfather, Dad, Pearl River, and played football there. 
and his sisters, his older sisters went there, and you know, my mom went there, and her brother and sister went there. So if, you know, in that time, and if you were lived in Pearl River County, it's, you know, looking back on it for me, that was just where you went. And uh, folks loved it, you know, like I've never seen. Dad, it, it meant a lot more to him than any place else he ever went to school. And you could just tell, you know, when we were kids, that's where we went to football games. And, um, you know, I remember hearing the, the stories about Coach Doby Holden, and it was just, uh, it was special to him. And he would be really, really honored uh, by, by this award. Before I forget, I want to um, give a shout out and a thank you to the folks who are here from South Mississippi Electric Power Association, where Dad worked for many years, and Jim Compton and Marcus Ware and all the folks there, and thank them for their sponsorship and their support of Dad. They're like uh, family to us, and we really appreciate them being here. Uh, I, I don't know what it is about Pearl River College that really, um, uh, you know, people became so attached to, uh, but it was, it, it must have been some place, you know, back in the early 50s when Dab was there and some of these other folks tonight were there. Uh, I, I wish I, I, I could have seen it because, you know, it really sounds like some awesome folks hearing some of these stories. and. You know, somebody knew Jack Nicholas. You know, wow, that's that's you know that's impressive stuff. Um, but Dad, education stayed important to him his whole life. He he was a you know a teacher the first part of his career. His dad had been a teacher. He had two sisters who were teachers, and he really stressed education. And all three of his kids were going to graduate from college, whether they liked it or not. And he didn't care what we majored in or where we went to school or anything like that, but we were going to go to college and we were going to graduate from college. And he, you know, wanted the same thing for his grandkids, and he's pretty much taken care of the, the college educations of all his grandkids. And I, I think, you know, I'm not sure we'd have that if it wasn't for Pearl River College. So thank you all and thank everybody here tonight, and we really appreciate the honor.